Let's get ready for the most over demoed demo that's ever been demoed. It's the content aware fill in Photoshop. Now, if you haven't seen this yet, you've been living under a rock. Let me give you a quick example of what goes on here. First of all, we're going to make a rough selection with the lasso tool. So I'm just going to lasso our character here. And the intention is that we want to remove this person slash object from the image in this instance. We're going to use the fill menu. So it's edit fill. Uh, you may have seen this uh, demonstrated with just shift uh, delete or just the delete key on the keyboard brings up the content aware fill rather than black, white, gray, foreground, background color. So on content aware fill. Go ahead and press OK and Photoshop will fill in the gaps for us. It will look for wow. That amazes me every time I see it. So I can quickly whip around these shapes. Have a look at that. Let's, let's see if we can get rid of these vines. And again, we're just going to hit delete on the keyboard. Content aware. We're, being, we're letting Photoshop be aware of the content as it fills in the background. And OMG, that looks bloody fantastic. But what else can we do with content aware, Mike? I hear you all screaming. Well, have a look at this. Not only can we use selections, but we can also use my favorite tool in the world, which is the spot healing brush tool. Now, we've used this in the past with Photoshop just for taking out little odds and ends, little dots and scratches and all the rest of it. But it now has added content awareness. Using the same algorithms as before, we can find something that we would like to remove. Let's say this post here. I'm going to click and drag over this post. I'm going to paint over the top of it and boom, it is removed. I can even get rid of things like this flagpole. And again, I'm just going to paint right over the top of it. Unbelievably accurate. And this one here, you'd think, no, it's not going to be able to do that one because of the wall. It fills in the wall as well. Now, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because I know what you're thinking. There is no way the content aware fill can fix that. But it does and the bin and you can just keep going and removing everything out i know what some of you are asking get rid of the mic get rid of the building get rid of the building no i'm not getting rid of the building we're going to leave the building because where will the people live now over here this photo is a panorama this is a common uh, uh, thing that happens uh, in potato shop where we stitch a panorama together using the photo merge panorama registered trademark we want to fill in the white areas with content. Um, let's be aware of the content and then fill in the background. We're going to go ahead and use the tragic wand to select the background. You can see it selects right around the edge, all the white areas. I flattened this uh, artwork you can see over here in the lace. And we're going to say select, modify, expand. And we're going to expand it by two pixels. That's two pixels. Press OK. Just to overlap the edge so we don't get a little white halo or whatever around the outside. Again, shift, delete with content aware fill. Wait a minute and voila. So content aware fill, get rid of the rulers. Truly awesome. Filling in the gaps. I really hope you get some great use out of the content aware fill uh, featuring Photoshop CS5.